Hey, Living Hope Church, good news. What is our good news, Kevin, for this Sunday? What's happening? This Sunday, we're bringing back communion. Communion is back. And if you're like me, then you have missed being able to share the Lord's Supper together, yeah. uh, to gather together, to remember in this unique way, to remember the Lord's death until he returns. We're doing something different, though, as we come back into regularly scheduled communion. That's the plan. Uh, first Sunday of the month, like we had done prior to the pandemic. We're going to start it up again. Uh, these were on back order, but we, we got these individually wrapped communion cups with wafers in the top um, in order to mitigate physical contact and ushers handing things out in the middle of this pandemic. So the deal is, what's the deal? So you're going to come in. Yeah. To the Sunday service, yep. and what's it going to look the like? The idea is in between the, the, the doors of the auditorium, there will be a table with all these communion cups lined up. So as you walk in, you would grab one for yourself and then take it to your seat and place it in a little communion cup holder on the seat in front of you. Yeah, and, and in, in uh, recognition of the joy of being able to have communion together again, this sermon is going to be, as we continue, I Want to Know Jesus, this series, this sermon is going to focus specifically on communion with Jesus and how uh, observing communion together as a church helps us get to know Jesus even better. And so we'll conclude the service with communion uh, and we'll all have these cups because we're going to grab them as we come in. We wanted to show you though, because they're a little bit tricky, how these cups work. So I'm going to show you. So take a look right there on the top. That's the wafer. You see the white and they have a peel off top. This is not complicated, but maybe you, you like me, you'll, it's good to have a heads up. Absolutely. So there's two different layers. The first thing you do is you pull off this thin layer on the top, revealing a tiny and tasty wafer. wafer that melts in your mouth. We've tried this before. Yes. So of course we eat that way. And then you'll note the top there, there's another thing to pull off and then you have your juice. So we're using these again in order to mitigate uh, physical contact as we're navigating through this season. So make sure uh, you make every effort to join us for a communion. Yes. Uh, grab a cup on the way in. There'll be ushers there to help remind you. You'll see it as you walk in. Parents, of course, supervise your kids as you always have done with this. Also, when to give you a brief update on the Bushes, because the Bushes are leaving yeah. us to go to Louisville, Kentucky, to go to the Pastors College, uh, August 10. Yep. So that is a little over a week from Sunday right. is when you'll be leaving. So how's it going? How's your preparation as you get ready to go move to Kentucky for 10 months? Oh, it, we've, had, we've had wonderful help, too. So we've been packing up, getting everything. We, first, we had to do the Great Purge, where it's like, okay, do we really need this? Get some of that yeah. stuff out of there. And, but we've been separating into going to Kentucky, not going to Kentucky, and so we're working on, uh, on, working on packing all of that up and getting to where it needs to go. Um, so we're doing well, but yeah, we'll, August 9th will be our last Sunday, and yeah. we'll pull out Monday morning, August 10th. Yeah. You guys feel like you're ready to go? Oh yeah, we're very excited about, about this. We're, we're sad to, to say goodbye to friends, but we realize in 19 weeks after we leave, we'll be back during the, the Christmas 19 break. 19 weeks? Yeah, we wow. can do that, we can do that. Yes. So please be praying for the bushes, uh, pass along any yes. encouragement uh, that you may have for them um, as we prepare to send them off. They're going to PC for 10 months to be trained, equipped, and then they're coming back to us and Kevin's gonna be serving Lord willing full time on staff here with me. So uh, we, I am sad, we are sad to see <laughs> them go. We will miss them deeply over those 10 months, but we release them knowing that in their going, uh, they're going to be equipped wonderfully. We, we went, Kate and I went in 2011 and 12, and we would not trade that year for anything. It helps so much. So we're sending them, and we're looking forward to them coming back. So pray for them, encourage them as you see them, and I'll see you on Sunday for communion. God bless you guys. See you guys.